what's up you guys i know it's kind of an awkward and abrupt beginning to this tutorial but um i initially wanted to do a talk through and i hated it so i'm doing a voiceover now and basically what i was showing you was the shades mauve and nectar mauve is from the lorac one palette and nectar is from the lorac two palette and i'm using those two shades mixed together because mob wasn't warm and bright enough for me so i just wanted to add a little bit of warmth and brightness to it so i thought nectar was a perfect mixture a perfect additive and it made a beautiful cocktail as you can see and i obviously applied it to my transition section of my eye lid which is basically just your crease blended out up into your brow bone onto your lid and then next, I'm taking these two red shades. One is like a pure bright red, and the other is more of a muted, corally red, I guess you could say. And I basically just apply that right on top of the mauve and nectar. This is just going to make it a little bit more burgundy and red, what I was aiming towards. And now I'm taking the shade nectar again and blending it out just a little bit more to mute that red down because it was a little too red for me <laughs> so now i'm taking the start of the show which is the shade jade from the lorac 2 palette and it's just a beautiful green shade with like gold speckles and sparkles in it i thought it was perfect for the holidays and i'm applying it with a flat shader brush just from urban decay if you want more pigmentation you could use your finger even wet your brush maybe even wet your finger <laughs> just i just wanted it nice and pigmented i just used a flat shader brush um that was good enough for me but if you want really intense pigmentation do one of those things <laughs> and now I'm just going in with the blending brush and I kind of go back and forth with the blending brush and applying more of the jade shade until I'm satisfied with the blending of the colors and the pigmentation of jade so now I'm taking the shade nectar once again to blend it out even more in real on um, camera it kind of looks really blended now that I'm looking at it but in real life I think since I'm doing this, I'm assuming it looked really harsh to me, and I did not want any harsh, blunt lines in this whatsoever. I wanted everything to marry nicely together. And see here, and now I'm adding more jade, and I'm going to keep going back and forth with the blending and applying more jade until I'm satisfied. You know what I'm saying? And I forgot to show you, but I took the Essence of Beauty crease brush and shade Sable and Espresso, and this red, that red shade from the Coastal Sense 88 palette and just apply that on my outer corner and simply just blend it out. And now I'm taking these three green shades mixed together and lightly applying them over top the jade because jade is a beautiful shade, but I wanted it just a brighter green. I didn't want anything to do with extremely bright green. But I still wanted the green to pop slightly, you know what I'm saying? So I thought this was just a perfect little topper. And now I decided to take the shade Rose and pop it right in the center of the lid. It's going to open up your eyes, especially if you have smaller eyes. It's perfect for you. And I used a e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And then I blended out the edges to nicely diffuse into jade. And that wasn't gold enough for me, so... I decided to take the shade Gold from Lorac and apply it right on top of that. And again, blending out the edges to softly diffuse the shade into Jade. I thought this was perfect for the holidays as well. And it just looks super, super glam. You could also add, like, straight glitter if you want, but I didn't have any at the moment. So, yeah, I thought that was good enough. Now I took the shades J Snow and Beige, sorry, and applied them on my brow bone with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and then blended everything out with a Sonia Kashuk blending brush, once again. And now I'm taking the shade Beige again and the shade Rose, and I'm applying that on my inner tear duct area. And I used the Essence of Beauty crease brush for this as well. 
And then I actually added some of the gold shade on top of that. And now I am using my Master Conceal by Maybelline. I Studio Master Conceal by Maybelline. To, and I love doing my um, concealer after my eyeshadow look because it just helps carve everything out and make everything nice and sharp. And I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender. And I also applied my concealer on the high points of my face. And now I'm just going to set everywhere I put my concealer with my light cocoa shade from my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit. And I'm setting it with a Real Techniques setting brush. I freaking love this contour kit. It smells so freaking good. <laughs> so now back to the eyes. I'm taking the shade Jade on that flat shader brush we used earlier and just quickly, tightly lining the lower lash line. And then I decided to buff that shade out with nectar and mauve and then also gold which is what you mainly see and I just think that's so pretty because it gives like a three tier look on the eye and now I'm just applying black from the Lorac One palette as my eyeliner because I didn't want a extremely harsh line from my liquid liner so I thought this was perfect because I didn't have a gel liner handy my one that I have is completely dried out, so yeah, this was good enough for me. It looks really pretty. It's more of a subtle line in color, anyway. And now I'm just applying the sh um, <laughs> look at my kitty, my um, their real mascara sampler from Benefit. I love this mascara. Uh, you could add uh whatever fall season shit, but you know. I can't do that so <laughs> and now I'm just contouring lightly I didn't do any harsh contour or anything using my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit as well and I used the elf blush brush for that and then I took the shade wildflower from um Mary Kay as my blush oh that's my nephew petting my cat how dare he trespass and I'm using the elf blush brush again and then now I'm using my beloved so hollywood illuminator from anastasia beverly hills applying it to my nose enhancing that pimple on my freaking nose Ugh, acne is literally terrible anyway and then i'm also applying it on my cheekbones of course using the real techniques setting brush and i'm trying to hide my bra strap my classy ass bra strap you know and now just applying it on my cupid's bow, my chin, all that good stuff. Now I'm just spraying everything with my Evian spray. It just melts everything together. It doesn't help the longevity as I said in the other video. And I'm just applying chapstick. And then for the lips, I use the shade Midnight Red from Mary Kay. Um, sharpening it up with my precision brush. And then I mix in NYX. T Rose matte lipstick and then on top I am going to add some Monte Carlo matte lip cream from NYX as well to brighten everything up and that is everything you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed see ya okay you guys so this is the final look <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed um I just really don't like really dark really bright red lips and really bright green eyes it's just not flattering to me for me and um I personally would not wear that so I just wanted to do a look where I would person I would wear it myself so um yeah I hope some of you guys enjoy this thank you for watching um remember to comment give me a thumbs up subscribe to me if you want more of me um Make sure to follow my Instagram. And yeah, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let's go. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm